Hello, baby Bam Bam Bumpkin here. In this video, I'm going to do what's called soap tip bending. This video is called soap tip bending for beginners. This, I don't know if you've ever heard of soap tip bending before, but it's really cool. All you have to do is get one of your favorite toys, bust it open and take out all the inner gills. And then what you do is get those circlets and you rewire them. You rewire them either by making connections between your fingers, or you rewire it with little connections with wires. But one thing that I have noticed while being on YouTube is there are a lot of people that wonder what circuit bending is, and so this is going to be my how-to guide on how to circuit bend. Here's a warning though, do not circuit bend for first, this is a warning for first time people. If you are a first time circuit bender, do not bend with a DC powered unit. That is a unit that actually plugs into the wall. It's best to start with battery powered toys, toys that are run on batteries. If you do use a DC power unit and you touch the wrong part of that unit, it's a death sentence. I guarantee it will kill you and you will be dead. So for beginners, please, please just use battery powered toy. For example, get your favorite toy and then smash it. And then break it open. Sometimes you have to hit it really hard to break these things open. Once you can get in, once you can break your toy open, get into the circuit board inside. Here's the circuit board. Once you've busted your toy open, start by getting your fingers damp, either by licking them or putting some water on them or something just slightly damp, and then put the connection between the two different wires touching in different, different places and different places on the circuit board. Once you've made the connection between two circuits that work, you can see that this is what creates a circuit bend. You are now circuit bending. As you can see, this circuit board has been completely rewired by me. I wired all the different circuits in different places, and now I can do all kinds of crazy sounds with my circuit bending. Check it out.